Shalom. Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel. was just stabbed on his live stream today. And uh, Bishop Ma Marie Emanuel was preaching at Christ the Good Shepherd Church in um, Wakely in Sydney, West on Monday today and um this man walked up to him with a knife and angrily stabbed him multiple times now this man that they, they it's it's clear he, he was a muslim man the man was muslim that approached him and stabbed him he was muslim now bishop emmanuel is known to live stream his sermons and uh, he has called out if you have not heard of this bishop he has a lot of live streams and he has called out the uh the illuminati he has called out the freemasons he has exposed and called out evil in hollywood and the media um he has also condemned the LGB, you know, community. Um, he has also been against the, you know, the C and the V word. He's been against that too, and he's he's been ex he's been saying a lot on his live streams. This bishop, and he practices and talks a lot about Yeshua, Jesus. You see what I find what I what I found interesting is, you know, the news. The news and the people were more happier to keep announcing that the bishop was a Christian. They kept using that Christian, 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 Christian. And pay attention because not once not once did they mention the attacker, nor the attacker's religion? Of course, they're not going to do that. Of course, they're not. But they, but they were. They wanted you to know that the bishop was Christian, Christian. But they didn't say nothing about the attacker, nor the attacker's religion. But if you see clearly at the attacker, it was a Muslim that attacked the bishop. A Muslim. The truth, ladies and gentlemen, the truth and the person speaking truth is always attacked. This is a spiritual warfare and the matrix hates the truth. This world is run by fallen angels, Nephilim. Reptilians, Draconians, and Satan being the leader to them all because there is a kingdom. This is not a wrestling match against a human opponent. We are wrestling with rulers, authorities, the powers who govern this world of darkness and spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Spirits, demons. Now, before I continue with this, um, if you go on my Facebook page, I put up this, uh, this video of a pastor, and he began to preach. It's on my Facebook. So he began to preach, and he said, the end is near and as he was saying this a demon literally began to manifest and it started to yell at that pastor and scream and that was real that wasn't fake you can tell 
the difference from when a person, their natural voice, to when it's a demon in their voice. So this per, this demon manifested when the, when the pastor was speaking and the, the pastor said, the end is near. These demons know that Yeshua is coming very soon. They know. They know. And guess what? They fear the Most High God too. The demons began to scream at Yeshua, Jesus, why are you interfering, interfering with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? Matthew chapter 8, verse 29. You believe that there is one God? You do? Well, even the demons believe and tremble. James chapter 2, verse 19. They know. They know. That man who attacked the bishop was, was Muslim. And that man, because you saw everything through the physical, but that man was demon-filled. Satan and these demons are upset because time is running out and the end is near. If the world hates you, realize that it hated me before it hated you. If you had anything in common with the world, the world would love you as one of its own. But you don't have anything in common with the world, I chose you from the world. And that's why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. A servant isn't greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they did what I said, they will also do what you say. Indeed, they will do all this to you because you are committed to me. Since they don't know the one who sent me. If I hadn't come and spoken to them, they wouldn't have any sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. The person who hates me also hates my father. If I hadn't done among them what no one else has done, they wouldn't have any sin. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. In this way, what is written in their scriptures has come true. They hate me for no reason. John chapter 15, verse 18 to 25. Yeshua and the Bible is the truth. If it wasn't the truth, then why is it mocked? Why are the people censored? Why do they try to shadow ban people? Why do they try to cancel individuals? And even martyr people? If the Bible wasn't the truth, why attack the Bible and not other religions? Think, think, think about that. Why attack and mock the Bible, but not other religions? And every other religion could do the most extreme things in it. Even the people they follow and who they look up to did malicious things. And no one says nothing about that. A street preacher could preach about the gospel and cops will lock that person up. And there has been video proof of that. Yeah, you're disturbing the community. People will start yelling at this person. We all know this is spiritual warfare. There's, there's demons. But a street preacher could, could preach about the gospel and the cops will lock this person up. And this street preacher will get attacked. A Muslim can yell at the cop. Aggressive, all in the cop's face. Like if he's going to attack the cop. And the cop would walk away. No arrest. 
which that also has been on tape and there has been proof of that too. You have parades where men is dancing in, in, in um, you have parades where there are men dancing in the street, even on video, in just underwear around little children. No police interfere on that, no arrests, not even a conversation to the man to tell him to put clothes on. Nobody's interrupting nothing. People's half naked. They're wearing the minor attracted flags, which we know what that flag stands for. Nobody's saying nothing about these things. This, nobody's saying anything about that. Mm -mm. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Do you, do you now, like, like, do you know why you see what you see? And you may ask yourself this question, like, how come this religion gets... This, this religion gets away with, with all the stuff that they do and people uh, with certain evil get away with things that they do too. Politics and all them, they don't get criminally charged for things that they do. But when it comes to Yeshua, when it comes to scripture and those speaking out on it, mentioning scriptures, calling out evil, talking about Yeshua, sp spreading the gospel. Why they get censored? Why those individuals get censored? Why they get shadow banned? Why they get canceled? Slandered, smeared campaigns. <laughs> Shoo, even the people you know. And strangers will begin to act different towards you when you get into this truth. Even during your spiritual awakening, when you <laughs> unplug from this matrix, everyone will begin to move weird and act differently towards you. How come all of these things? You may be wondering and asking yourself. And it's simple. The devil and these demons have their hands on all of those religions and they control and possess people too. And so these fallen angels know one another. They all know each other. And then we also know they shape shifting into people and animals too. That's how deep this gets, but they know each other. So if there's a group of people and those group of people are possessed with, all, with, with demons, all of them. Those fallen angels controlling those people, they all know each other in that group. The demons. And that's why they would, uh, they would let all that evil slide. And that's why people that you would know and strangers will begin to move funny towards you. And when I mean people that you know, your family, co-workers, friends, uh, people that you know, they will begin to move funny. When you psst, unplug from the matrix, spiritually awaken, go into your truth, start seeing weird things. Yeah. Yeshua is the light of the world. And so are you. And all the people you know and strangers are controlled and possessed by these demons. And some of them aren't even human. And some are in the occult, some are witches, some are warlocks. And some of these people as well are also unhealed, fighting with their demons. And the demons that they're battling with recognize your light. And these demons are bothered and irritated by your light. Because they know who is with you and who is in you. That's why. And the devil knows which is the truth. He knows what's the truth. The devil knows what's the truth. Which is why you see Yeshua constantly mocked. 
and those trying to wake the world up, they start getting smear campaign. They start getting gang stalked. A lot of weird things begin to happen into your life when you start to unplug from the matrix, spiritually awakening, go into your truth. I don't know if they, um, I don't know if, if the news or if any articles, because this, this attack happened today. So I don't know if they identified who the, uh, who the attacker was. But all everyone, even the news kept saying, the Christian, the Christian, they want y'all to know that the bishop was a Christian and that the bishop got attacked. And they want to keep saying, the knife, the knife, the knife. They want to blame it on the knife. But nobody really want to talk about spiritual warfare, that there's demons, that there's fallen angels. Nobody want to get real deep into the conversation. No, no, no. And they don't want to say, they don't want to identify the attacker. And they also don't want to, they don't want to identify the attacker's race. And they also don't want to identify the attacker's religion. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't want to, they don't want to. They don't want to say that. But I'm going to tell you right now, when you see that video, and if you have seen it already, you can clearly see the attacker was a Muslim. But I tell you this, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. That's what the Most High says. And that's what he teaches. That's not what Muhammad teaches, and 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 that's not, and 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 that and that's not who Muslims follow. They don't follow the Most High; they follow Muhammad. And Muhammad married, um, Aisha. Aisha. He married Aisha when she was six. Had sex with her when she was nine years old. In the book of. Um, marriage, Kitab, al Naika. He advocated beheadings. Translations of Suda, Al-Anfal. He required women to cover their faces, but not men. Islam and bells. He hated. He hated Christians and Jews and any other religious person that wasn't Muslim. That goes for all of you, ladies and gentlemen, just going about your day today. Muhammad would hate you too if you wasn't Muslim. Muslims befriending Christians and Jews. He owned slaves and allowed Muslims to have slaves. And many of those slaves were also black. Islam and slavery. He married his daughter-in-law. Translation of Surah Al-Ahzab. He, he glutenized. That was in uh, the Quran. Also in the Hadith and scholars of Muhammad. He approved and recommended wives or a wife to be beaten. Can a man beat his wife? Huh? He even hit his own wife. He beat all his wives. The book of prayers. Kitab al-Salat. He advocated suicide attacks. Prescribed punishment, Kitab al Hadad. He killed apostates and ordered Muslims to do the same. 
apostasy in Islam, he told sick people to heal themselves. He didn't heal them. He told them to heal themselves by drinking camel piss. Punishment of disbelievers at war with Allah and his apostles. He even beat children for not praying. And um, and prayer, kitab, al, salat. He had boys as young as 13 years old, beheaded, prescribed punishments. Kitab al-Hadad. He, he approved, he approved sex with children. And that's in the translation of Surah at Talak, Talak. He lied and approved lying, deception and lying in Islam, deception and lying. Who that sound like? You come from your father, the devil, and you desire to do what your father wants you to do. The devil was a murderer from the beginning. He has never been truthful. He doesn't know what's the truth. He doesn't know what the truth is. Whenever he tells a lie, he's doing what comes naturally to him. He's a liar and the father of lies. So you don't believe me because I tell the truth. John chapter 8 verse 44 through 45. Muhammad enslaved innocent women and children. Muhammad's atrocity against um, Kuraza Jews. He stoned adulterers to death. Adultery and stoning. We know that Yeshua healed people and even brought a dead man back to life. The miraculous story of Lazarus. Lazarus being brought back to life by Yeshua, Jesus, from the gospel according to John. In John chapter 11, verse 1 through 45, Lazarus of Bethany was the brother of Martha and Mary. And we also know that Yeshua saved a woman from getting stoned, an adulterous woman, and told those accusers, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And they left. And he also told that woman, I do not condemn you. Go and sin no more. That's in John chapter 8 verse 1 through 11. Muhammad tortured someone out of greed. Muhammad in the death of Kinana. He said that women are less than men many times. A woman is worthless than a man in Islam. He also stole Islam and stealing. He killed people for insulting him. The assassination of sacred poets in early Islam. He hated non-Muslims. Translator of Surah at Taubah. He extorted money from religious minorities, Islams, and the Jizya. He kept women as sex slaves. Translation of Suda and Nisa. He forced conversions to Islam. Yeah, he forced it. Forced conversions. He encouraged acts of terror. Muhammad encouraged acts 
of Torah, Sayings and Teachings of Prophet Muhammad. The world, okay, the world saw the attack that just happened to Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel. That's Muhammad. That's Islam. That's Satan. That's demons. Muhammad killed an innocent woman. Death of Asma bint Marwan. He captured an R word, an innocent woman. Manumissions of slaves. He also encouraged the R word of women in front of their husbands. Abu Dawood Hadith. Yeah. Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel. Just so y'all know, he's in stable condition. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds shall be exposed. John chapter 3 verse 16 verse, uh, through 20. Hence all the billionaires, millionaires building doomsday bunkers. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. He planned to bring all of history to its goal in Yeshua. Then Yeshua will be the head of everything in heaven and on earth. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10. I pray that uh that Bishop Emmanuel heals has a healing recovery. I also pray for mercy on the attacker. I also pray that that man that the most high opens his eyes to see that he has been deceived and has been used by Satan and these demons. I, I, I pray that he opens his eyes and pray for mercy on his head. But I pray for, for Bishop Emmanuel for a fast healing so he can go back and does what he does best. Let the Lord still continue to use him and that he can let you know what's going on and also, let this be an eye-opener for you, ladies and gentlemen. And for those of you who also witnessed this, who has no idea what's going on, let this be an eye-opener that there is a spiritual warfare, that there is a spiritual battle taking place. <laughs> there is a war between light and dark. It's real, it's not fake. There is only one truth. Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody gets through the Father unless you get through me. Sanctify them by truth. Thy word is truth. And you shall, and you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I pray that y'all wake up. And I pray that there will be more people unplugging from this matrix. I pray that there 
um, will be more awakenings because the world is waking up. There is an awakening taking place in this world. A big, strong shift is happening all over the world. It is. Stay safe. Stay prayed up. Repent to the most high of your sins. Even if you fell short of the glory, even if you sinned again, repent to the most high. Stay in repentance, stay in communication with him, have a relationship with the most high. Stay safe and I'm plugged from this matrix. Until the next video.